can assure you and reassure you once again that Serbia will be and uh, uh, will be very active uh, and uh, will stay committed to the European integration process, especially the reform process, especially the reforms in the chapters in the let's say in the context of chapters 23 and 24, which means struggle against corruption, struggle against organized crime, um, uh, of course national minority issue, media freedom, all uh, issues that is covered by the chapters 23 and 24, since we know that member states especially pay attention to those uh, important, uh, important uh, reforms for one society. We are aware of that and we will continue, not because of the European Union, as you know, because we have uh, promised to our citizens a uh, modern state, more efficient state, uh, more justice in our uh, society, and I'm sure that we will, that we will succeed at least uh, partially in this year to deliver very important laws and uh, to deliver uh, very important reforms for, uh, for our citizens. Um, at the end, I just uh, once again want to, uh, thanks to the European Union and to the member states uh, being, uh, for, for being uh, the, let's say, biggest and the most important uh, strategic partner when it comes to the reform process, not only by the technical assistance, but with the concrete support throughout uh, pre-accession funds, EPA funds, and uh, being uh, the biggest bilateral donor and the biggest investor and the biggest trade partner uh, to Serbia. We always emphasize these important things since our citizens, uh, and I can announce that uh, this evening, still uh, mostly are uh, pro-EU oriented citizens. Latest polls that we as a ministry conducted uh, in the last six months showed that 55% of citizens of Serbia support EU integration. Uh, I am very satisfied with these numbers. Of course, uh, they will be affected certainly with some I would say uh, different changes in European Union, uh, regional, uh, I would say also challenges that we are facing with. I don't want to talk about that uh, this evening, but you all know uh, what, I, what I wanted to say when I say uh, regional uh, challenges. But uh, I'm sure that most of our population, most of our citizens will uh, keep this maturity and uh, understand why European Union is uh, still best choice for Serbia. And I'm sure that Serbia is also a good candidate and uh, some, uh, I would say, um, important country from the region who can really contribute to the European Union. Uh, maybe sometimes I sound... Uh, not always optimistic, but uh, I promised to myself and to citizens of Serbia that in these challenging days in the next six months, I will be as optimistic as it's possible. Uh, maybe someone will not understand that, but I think that we need to be, we need to be patient and uh, I hope that European Union will be uh, more, uh, more um, convinced that Serbia and this region deserve their European future.